Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about Persian Square. So, if you guys remember last month, we did a video here on the channel where I actually told you guys um, that they were uh, buying 10% of Universal Music. And I told you that I, I wasn't too excited about that move because that's not what I was anticipating. I was looking for something bigger. I was looking for something better, um, like going after Square or something like that. So I was a little bit disappointed with that move. Um, but fortunately, my prayers actually uh, were answered because um, if you guys can see, uh, there's some news that just came out. And this is exactly from this is a letter from um, the CEO. Uh, Bill Aikman, but let me just go over here to CNBC so you guys can actually see. So Bill Aikman, Pression Square, um, drops deal to buy 10% of Universal Music, which to us, I think this is a win. Um, and so the whole idea now is that they're going to go after um, a more traditional uh, merger or a more traditional acquisition, which uh, that's what I was looking for in the first place. So this is absolutely good news uh, again for me. Uh, if you are an investor, I think this is better than uh, their Universal Music deal that they were talking about. So that's what I want us to cover into this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, uh, when it comes again to this particular uh, spark, I mean, like they, there were so many uh, people looking uh, up to this park, hoping that this was going to be some generational uh, merger, but it never really panned out the way it did. So I'm happy that this thing fell through. Maybe some people wanted this to go through, but I'm, I'm personally, I'm smiling because I didn't really think this was an excellent deal. So now the deal has uh, been scrapped and now again they're saying they're going to go through a more traditional approach and you can see here uh the ceo said that the stock price actually dropped 18 percent since the transaction was announced on june 4th um so that wasn't a good thing because normally when you announce a merger like that some people get excited and you anticipate that the price of the stock would go up but the reverse was true the price of the stock instead took a beating so um, now they don't have a specific date as to when they're going to go, but I think they have um, 18 months um, to get uh, another, uh, you know, merger go through. So they have at least 18 months to get that. That's over a year to decide. And if um, their 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 board of director decide or the shareholders decide to vote and increase that time um, to go after another um, uh, company to merge with, and then they can certainly do that. So again, if we can go here and look at where this stock is trading right now, at about $20.39. So, I mean, it hasn't been um, making any specific move. This is where it started. When they initially announced this spark, it started at about $20. So this thing had, if we just go here six months, it gone up to about 30 something dollars. And then now selling back at the lows of the year. Um, so hopefully they can uh, find another company. Again, in my personal opinion, I think Square would be an ideal candidate uh, for this guy. If they can go after Square, that would be the best thing that can possibly happen. But who knows? We'll see what happens there. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Again, just a quick recap here, guys. Uh, Bill Eggman deal with uh, Universal uh, Music has been scrapped. So that deal is not going through. Uh, right now, they are looking to go uh, maybe find another company that's more traditional, more in the space that they were looking for, kind of like a fintech company or maybe just a tech company uh, to take public. So that's what um, we're going to be seeing here. So I'm going to keep you guys posted if anything comes up with this particular, uh, you know, spark. Again, this is a spark that um, a lot of people have been looking at and it has a lot of high hopes. So this was a disappointment that I think they are trying to rectify um, and find something that would make um, shareholders happy. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Were you excited about the merger with Universal Music or were you as disappointed um, like I was? So let me again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content also guys if you're looking to get started with investing webo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get free stocks links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated